Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Ellensburg, Washington. The local time is 1.42 p.m. On a beautiful Friday afternoon, it's in the high 30s, but the sun is strong. We'll probably lose the sun by the time we're done. But we have it now, and the front porch is uh, perfect temperature. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Today's show is on Plutons. And that's us right here on December 4th. You are welcome to come back Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time, and we will talk about Baja BC. Today is kind of about, about Baja BC too, so it's part one and part two this weekend. Let me grab a drink and we'll see how we're doing. How are we doing? Uh, how are we doing uh, audio-wise? I'm mostly interested in that. Doing great. Thank you, five by five. Hello, Kathy. Wonderful, loud and clear. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have my wireless microphone on today. I thought the last few shows I was kind of um, muzzled a little bit or the sound wasn't quite as sharp as I wanted and I thought well wait a minute I used to do these live streams before I bought that wireless mic set up and uh, so I went back and looked at a couple shows last spring and I thought the audio was louder or stronger than uh, with the wireless mic so I mean I'm going to give it a try today. Doing the cozy fort, I need to figure out a couple audio things there. But otherwise, uh, a little bit more feedback from you, please. If you're feeling like the audio is nice and strong, and if it is, then I'll stop thinking about it. And uh, we've had, I don't want to jinx it, but we've had good luck with the buffering and the streaming because I'm inside and I'm very close to uh, the box. Okay, good, good, good. So where are you viewing from uh, this afternoon or this evening or this morning if you're on the other side of the world and we can uh, proceed. Chicago, Illinois, hello, Minnesota. Mike says it's much better today. I'm, I'm so pleased. Uh, Devin in the UK, Julie from Prosser in the house. Dayton, Ohio, Denver, Colorado. Crescent City, California, Houston, Texas. Geologically speaking, is from the Peninsula Ranges, Batholith. We'll talk about that today, Todd. Thank you. We're going to share one of Todd's videos today. Looking forward to that. It fits, it ties in perfectly with what we're doing today. Las Vegas, David, Southern Utah, uh, Melbourne, the Dutch Night Owl from the Netherlands. Taro from Finland, Ben's from the Netherlands. Uh, great, wonderful. I'm starting a little early because I have a lot, a lot of boxes. Montreal, hello, Natalie. Calgary, Alberta, Deep Purple Modesto, California. Nova Scotia, Cranbrook, British Columbia. Vancouver, BC, hello, Ron. Matt's in Vancouver, Washington. Squim, just plain old Seattle. Yeah, the audio and visio is excellent. Wow, I really need to think about that. I, I guess I was so high on that wireless mic setup outdoors when it was windy. But I'm starting to think if I'm in the front porch, I'm unless it's way super echoey. I've got both of these windows open. I've got this side window open. I don't know. So nice, I might even open up every, I've uh, got the front door open now. That might mean people will drop in to say hi, but anyway, um, wonderful. 
I've got, I think the best setup I can, as long as the temperature stays nice and warm, I'm going to be fine. Otherwise, I might close a couple windows as we go on if I get a little uh, cold. Terrific. Time for some thank yous. They don't have a hot mic anymore. I can't do that. Hot mic. Hot mic. So I always feel compelled to say I'm embarrassed by all the presents. I'm also appreciative of all the presents. I'm certainly not asking for more presents. Not, I mean, they are pouring in now. It's hard to keep up. So just you tuning in is wonderful. And that's all that I need from you. Uh, but for those that feel they really want to send something, I, I'm sharing with that, but I, I'm not. There's a lot. So box from Wire Gold in Snohomish, Washington. Organic catnip flowers for Bijou. Very nice note, Wire Gold. Thank you. I hope, enjoy, I hope Bijou enjoys the catnip. And then some absolutely beautiful samples from Highway 2 up by Stevens Pass. This was Mount Stewart contact zone. If I had more time, I'd share all this stuff with you. Mason Ridge along with the Mount Stewart Tonalite. So Mr. Wire Gold or Miss Wire Gold went out and just did a bunch of collecting. Maybe already had these from past times or maybe was inspired. But I do want to show this one carefully. This is Nason Ridge Nice. It's a core from Mount Stewart Batholith contact zone. I always wondered what is inside these tortured rocks. So I drilled and looked. So wire gold drilled into the Mount Stewart contact zone with the Nason Ridge. And I'll flip you around, why not? So we're in this very interesting boundary, but just the look at one of these cores. So Wire Gold knows what, I'll just say he, knows what he's doing with some sort of gasoline powered drill and Merle Beck today, who's gonna help us get introduced to Baja BC was doing the same kind of drilling. I'm not sure their uh, cylinders were as big as this, this thing is, but beautiful job. Wire Gold from Snohomish, Washington. Thank you very much. Oh, Wire Gold's with us. Thank you, Wire Gold. Thank you for joining us live, and uh, thank you for the samples. When I have a little bit more time, I will really enjoy uh, looking at your notes carefully and looking at those samples. So I'm going to keep this out for our Paleo Mag discussion. Ten minutes. Oh my God. Ten minutes. Just gotta go quick. It's from my neighbors, and I'm sorry. I don't think I've met. Have we met? Uh, they're in Ellensburg, and uh, they live just a few blocks down, five blocks down the way. Uh, Andres and Shirley sent. Uh, didn't just drop them off, they sent them through the mail. Beautiful holiday cookies, Christmas cookies. So Corey has had her eye on these the whole uh, week. And I said, you gotta wait, I gotta, I gotta show them off first. So thank you neighbors. And uh, if we've met, I'm sorry, I, your name is just not ringing a bell. So please come on up and say hi sometime. Uh, out in the front yard with our distance and everything. Happy holidays. Thank you. A 
Larry from the Portland area, uh, Lake Oswego. Uh, I don't know how you did it, but you figured out that our favorite pizza place in town is called Cornerstone Pizza Pie. I'm not asking for more, but Larry sent a gift card uh, for Cornerstone. We're going to celebrate uh, tonight for a number of things going on here. So we're going to use that gift card tonight, Larry. So thank you. Bonnie from Bellevue uh, dropped by Vinman's Bakery and had a couple of sticky buns uh, dropped off at the house and uh, uh, Vinman's uh, card as well. So thank you, Bonnie. And speaking of Vinman's, Jeff, you know I was kidding, right? I feel bad, but if you knew I was kidding and you just still wanted to do this, <laughs> I got another one. This episode of Nick from Home brought to you by Vinman's Bakery. You got to love it. So Jeff, I, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't want to drop this one. I don't want to screw this one up. Notice I'm holding on tight with two hands. Um, but I, the bakery seems to be doing well, seems to be going strong. Um, a lot of local businesses, not so lucky. So keep doing what you're doing. And uh, maybe I've been able to help bring a couple of customers your way. So thank you very much. I, I really don't know if I want to screw this one up. Thanks. And Julie from Prosser who continues to shower us with gifts. And I have to share with Liz. She's always careful to say that. Uh, Dear Nick, I'm getting lost in the alphabet, but one of the letters you mentioned, Pluton shooting through the exotic terrains like bullets. Sorry, Patrick. How about a new food prop? How about a medley from Chucker Cherries and Prosser instead of bullets for Patrick and Gracie? So I don't know if you're aware of these things called Chucker Cherries, but they're a personal favorite of mine. I eat too many of them, especially holiday time. And you're like, what's Julie talking about? Well, these things are chocolate covered cherries. I don't know. I'm sure it's more than that, but it's a good idea. So I, I gave it the old college try, Julie, just a second ago to show a Pluton invading the fruitcake. Uh oh, somebody's in there. Hey, you and Jordan. So somebody was outside, but then he wanted to take a look and then he smelled the fruitcake, I guess, or he smelled the sticky buns from Bonnie. And so are you going to go back outside on this beautiful afternoon? Or are you going to stay in here because you're smelling more food? People seem to like seeing you. I know that's true. I almost want to flip them around and like zero in on your uh, whiskers or something. Would you be up for that? Would you be up for that to be flipped around? Yeah, what if I what if I flip you around? What if I flip you around? Yeah. What if no, that's not gonna work. Bisha says hi. Where was I? And the final thank you, I've got, I got more in the basement. I'll, I'll save those for Sunday. Hi, Nick. Here are three turned pens. This is from Pat and Karen Miller. Remember, Kat made, uh, Pat made that, but they both, both made that beautiful piece with the miniature rock hammer inside of the wood columns. So here's Pat at it again from Yakima and Karen. Three turned pens, two from Green Rocks, Soapstone. One pen is for you, one is for Chris Mattinson. He was our guest. 
a while back. And the third one is for Liz, uh, turned from pink ivory wood, easily in the top five rarest woods used making things. Um, I'll flip you around. I'll flip you around. So the light's a little wrong for you here, Pat, but I just want to showcase your amazing handmanship artwork. Uh, all you craftspeople, I don't know how you do it. I won't even begin to know. I don't like the light. Let me come back around. So if the, the pink stuff, the pink ivory wood is easily very, very rare, then I have to show that. That's Liz's. Oh, I should get it out, huh, Pat? Oh my God, this is amazing. I will flip you around even though the light's wrong. So we have our share of beautiful handcrafted pens now for sure, but Liz will enjoy this. We're still old enough to use pens and pencils and paper and everything else. So thank you, Pat and Karen Miller from Yakima. And you included a business card possibly for me to share with everybody. And here's Pat and Karen. And here is their Thank you. Okay. I got two minutes according to my watch. Can you give me two minutes to get my head together? Thank you for joining us today. to show hang on I forgot to show uh, so Julie and Prosser gave the chucker chair and you're like I don't see it this is fruitcake from Dareth I don't see the chucker cherry oh yeah the Pluton <laughs> 